<clears throat> Hello, people. Uh, I just need to figure out how it is that I... No, I definitely don't hit that button. How to change the thing so it's the other way around. Because this is currently wrong. Hmm. It's backwards, isn't it? We had this problem before on one of the other... What's happened there? My capo's disappeared at itself. Hello! But it's... Oh no, there's the little magic button. Now... It doesn't seem to give me an option. It's given me lots of stupid fancy effects. Does anyone know how to flick the YouTube thing over? That is really annoying. Hmm. I'm sorry about this, guys. I'll be, uh, I will be with you in a second. Why is that like that? And now the little option to, to do stuff is, I mean, seriously, I can't flip the neck around so it's the right way around, but I can have bubbles on the screen. Woohoo! I mean, seriously. Oh, come on, YouTube. You can do better than that. Now it's just stuck on the screen. Anyway, go down. No. No, I don't want to. Lord. Glamour. How about we have glamour? What's that do? Nothing. Okay. Oh, nine millimeters. Make it look like it's a hundred years ago. Well, these are such useful effects. Anyway, I won't just sit and complain about this. There's, there's a couple of reasons for this little, and I'm just getting back to doing some more chips. And uh, <clears throat> I started looking through, I've got this list on this Google spreadsheet called the mega to do song to do list, where there's like, a gazillion songs where I'm trying to figure out what ones I should do and which ones I shouldn't. Hang on, stop that so I can see the chat. Let me just do the pop-out chat thing. Uh, pop-out chat, there we go. And now I can actually see a comment. So, um, what I was saying, one of the songs on that list was this uh, somebody that I used to know, right? And, of course, we all know that tune. It's an incredible pop tune. And I was thinking, well, you know, there's guys around like Mike Dawson and these fancy finger-style ones, and it's like there's, you know, they're far better at doing that stuff than me, any than I'll ever be. So um, I thought, well, I'll do a little beginner one, you know. And uh, if we put the capo down on the fifth fret, we get a nice one where we just use A minor, G, and F. That's quite nice. But then I started mucking around, and I'm thinking, well, I could also bring in a few of the melody ideas there. So, but let me share with you what I got, and you t and, and you guys let me know at what place, what point, actually, let me just get off that sit fit, it's making it too wobbly. Um, I'm sorry I can't flip the guitar around, by the way, I just, there's no option on the YouTube um, thing to be able to flip it around, which is just ridiculous, and um, I'll probably go back to using my um, Mevo thing, seeing as this, uh, the YouTube native app is a little bit pants. Um, so, uh, yeah, let me just check the comments. So, hello. Uh, a lot of people liking the bubbles. Maybe I should put the bubbles back on. I um, uh, don't really have a favourite song. My daughter is doing really well. Uh, the Marshall logo reads okay. So, is it is it flipping itself around the right way? It is. Ah, that's frustrating. So, actually, on my camera, the way I'm looking at it, it's the wrong way around. But on YouTube, it looks... It does appear to be the right way around. Way! Okay, so that's good. I'll stop moaning about that then. Um, anyway, <clears throat> I haven't upgraded the cheap Stratocaster yet. No, I had a um, a clash of... Uh, a diary clash when uh, my friend Charlie was going to come and help me do it up. And then he's been busy, so I'm going to sort that out uh, in a couple of weeks' uh, time to start doing that. Um, but the sound is choppy. I'm sorry, the sound is choppy. I'm just using the sound from my phone. So, um, yeah, it, it might be a little bit uh, a bit weird. Uh, sorry about that. You know, a few people saying the audio is crackly. I mean, it is just the phone. So I was kind of hoping that the audio on the phone would be good. In the future, I'll go back to using the Mevo, uh, which I, actually right now I don't even know where it is, which is pretty silly. But anyway, so look. What I was mucking around uh, with, uh, yeah, actually, I've still got the old film flickering thing. Should I turn that off? What do we think? Old film flickery? 
or uh, yeah, actually that could be it, couldn't it? If I go back to normal, does the sound improve when I go back to normal? God, this is really bad for my, I'm, I'm not as bald as I look now, it's these damn lights, seriously. <laughs> um, shall I turn that one off? Hang on, let me just go and see if I can swap my lightning bit because that looks really crappy. <clears throat> <clears throat> so I just noticed it's like the glare from my head was getting a bit ridiculous and you know it's getting thin up there but there is still some there not you know I was actually going to go and cut it all off the other day but um I didn't have the bottle frankly I went to the barbers outside the barbers and I, and I couldn't quite I was just going to have it all off but anyway so this tune is fairly simple it's uh just a minor and g for the most part and then it's got uh, A minor, G, F. In, of course, it's originally done with bar chords. I think where a D minor, C, and B flat would be the regular bar chords. But with a capo on the fifth fret, um, you get this, just a, like a real easy beginner one, I thought would be a nice one. Now and then I think of when we were together. And it's, it's that simple, you know. Like when you felt you so, so happy. You know, and I thought, well, that'd be nice for a beginner because then they can actually like play it straight away and that works. And then I started thinking, well, but then you can put a little bit of the little percussive thing in. So I was like, well, is it, are most people more interested in doing like a beginnery sort of nice, easy, strummy sort of version, or whether it's worth, you know, taking the time to do an arrangement of a more complicated version uh, where you're learning some of the some of the parts. So what do you guys reckon? What what would you rather when I'm teaching a song like that? where there's a few options. Because I, I mean, I'll, I may well end up doing as many different versions as I can in the one lesson or a couple. Um, yeah, I, somebody said do both. Um, so maybe I do do a strictly beginnery one as a separate lesson. Just the thing we're doing when I used to sometimes do the progression within a lesson, one, the video gets to be like 20 minutes long and then uh, YouTube penalizes you if you do if people only watch little bits of the videos right they, they don't um, show it to as many other people so if I had a, you know a long video with an easy bit and a hard bit obviously the the beginners aren't going to want the really hard bit and the the people who watch it that want the hard bit are going to be bored by the easy bit that's like the that was the kind of the the thing you know um, so what do you think you guys think of it? getting a bit out of tune it's been ages, it's been literally like, I can't remember what it was, more than a month, might even be two months since I've done a song on my songs channel, which is appalling, uh, really, frankly, but um, hopefully most of you are on my newsletter and you've checked out the new website already, um, because uh, that's where all my effort's been going lately, um, and I'm really super happy with it, the feedback's overwhelmingly positive, so... Um, Someone's asked about this. this acoustic guitar is called a Froggy Bottom. It's very, very nice. Ridiculous name for a guitar, I must say. But, um, yeah, the things with the uh, captain are quite fun. I'm quite enjoying hanging out with the captain, seeing he's where he gets to. Um, those of you asking about the new site, we obviously weren't on my mailing list. If you've been, been getting the, the newsletter, then you would have been already surfing around on the new site. Man. Um, yes, all of the old lessons where the poor video are on the list to, to redo in the coming months. I just want to, I need to get back a, you know, get the songs kind of, uh, I normally film a whole batch at once and then kind of put them out every week or whatever. So I need to get a, steady film of firm of that stuff and then uh, I'll get back into 
uh, remaking some of the old ones like Wish You Were Here and Stairway to Heaven and stuff. But uh, so anyway, I've kind of diverged a little bit because the, the idea was to do a, a bit of a chitty chatty thing as well as some some of the practice. Um, there aren't many beginners left thanks to your channel. Well, that's very nice of you to say streaky streak. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking two videos. A, a very, very easy one that's just strumming for the, coming back to this. And then, a, and then a harder one where we introduce some of those ideas. I mean, it's never like, you know, I'm no Mike Dawes when it comes to doing the fancy finger styly stuff, but I'm figuring probably there's not that many Mike Dawes in the world. You know, there's probably not more than a thousand people on the planet that can play that, you know. Um, so, uh, yeah, maybe an easier version where we do the, you know... Working it out the way. Yeah, that other one melody works nice. of that as a song is just like pop song writing I don't think's got any better than that that's definitely for me as good as pop writing's ever ever got fantastic song great delivery great arrangement interesting clever wonderful lyrics it's really really great tune I'm, I'm annoyed at myself that I hadn't done it um, before it is Bar Bar Black Sheep Have You Any Will Andrew I think that's kind of where it, where it's come come from um, yeah little bit of a little bit of love for the new site the old one is definitely looking a bit old school now it is isn't it now that i've updated i i kind of feel like flicking it over straight away but the official launch date i think is the fourth of june we're still doing a little bit of what's called load testing because uh it's using a different type of um code than the, the old site was hand coded by me and uh so it's fairly robust but the new one's all database driven and all of that so <clears throat> we have to test that it uh, test that it's going to be okay when I suddenly unleash hundreds of thousands of people on it all at the same time. So, um, yeah, that's that's where we're at. Um, does looking up and to the left help when learning new stuff? That's a, it's funny that you mentioned that because I noticed myself doing it earlier today, and I don't know the answer to that question, but I'm going to have to look up. Um, I've, I, I did a little bit of. Uh, psychology research the last few years just because I find it interesting and, and there's definitely things to do with like when people are lying or thinking about different stuff they look in different areas when they're talking to you so I need to look up what looking to the left up and to the left signifies like whether it's a reflection of a part of the brain that I'm using quite possibly I don't know exactly but it does help me when I'm trying to do complicated stuff like that I don't know why but it does um uh, is the sound cutting out for anybody else? Yes, e ele eclectic hillbilly, I think it is. I'm sorry, it's just my phone. I'm going to go back to the other thing that I use for doing the use, uh, for the live stuff very soon. I'm having a tough time working out chords by ear. Any pointers? Harry, go and check out the transcribing course on my website where there's a bunch of songs where I give you like tips because it's just a gradual process. It's not, it's super easy. You want to do it like a little bit getting gradually harder would be the thing. Uh, can I tell us how to solo using arpeggios in the same song? Have a check out of my um, Jazz Up Your Blues series, even if you don't like jazz or blues, because it'll teach you the the idea. Um, uh, get that lesson out ASAP. Thank you. I will try and get that sorted out soon. Well, I mean, literally, I, I probably need to practice it just a little bit more so I, I know what... Um, What's going? There's no cables. There's just literally I've got my phone stuck on one of those little tripody things, and uh, and it's a new phone. I just bought myself one of those fancy bigger iPhone things. Um, yeah, but sorry. So uh, slightly a bit updated as well. Not sure the logo is. Maybe a little bit. Um, 
Yeah, okay, there's a few people complaining about the sound. I'm very sorry about the sound. Uh, I will endeavour to fix it before I do another one of these streams. Um, uh, you have helped me so much, skills. Thank you. Thank you, Jeffrey. Glad to have helped. Did I plan to add more stuff to the four chords karaoke? I love the software for giving lessons. Um, I don't update the four chords karaoke app anymore because I've got my own version of that, which is with the same company, uh, the Justin Guitar Beginner Song Course, it's called, available for iOS and, and Android. Uh, and it's essentially the four chords thing, but with more lessons involved and more of my kind of, um, the, the ideas that I, I think about when I'm learning. Um, when I'm learning, when I'm teaching, is what I meant, sorry. Um, the, when's the gravity lesson coming? Funnily enough, gravity is also... So I'm trying to figure out what the tunes are that I should do. And I'm thinking this... I'm going to write this down. So somebody is definitely one I should do. Gravity is one I should do. However, okay, so... I don't have, to, <laughs> I don't have lots of time this week, right? I've got like a couple of hours left today to, to do some more transcribing. And then I've got to film stuff tomorrow. That's kind of my lot for this week, for filming. Um, so the other... I was thinking of working a bit more on um, Stop This Train. And the problem with that one is it just needs me to practice it, right? I've, I, I know I've, I've transcribed it, I can kind of play it, but I need to work on it a bit more. So gravity's a bit easier, probably, especially if I don't do the whole thing in the solo. So what would you rather see from the John Mayer choices for this next little batch? Gravity or Stop This Train? Answers in the comments, wherever you're doing the commenting. And uh, I'll try and... Um, yeah, I'll try and do it. So gra gravity or stop this train, one of those two, and your vote is going to decide uh, that now. Stop this train, uh, gravity is at the bottom. So stop this train is one, gravity, stop this train, gravity. It's, oh, it's equal, splits at the moment. Okay, stop this train, stop this train, there's another stop this train, another gravity, another stop this train. Okay, I think it's gonna be stop this train, another stop this train. Okay, another gravity. Okay, but it's about two to one. Okay, no, it's yeah, it's more than twice as many. Just in this little survey here, have have been uh, going for stop this train. So um, I will do both eventually because they're both great tunes. Stop this gravity. Yeah, that's what I should do. So yeah, I'm thinking this uh, two videos of this go. Uh, Gautier? I never know how to pronounce his name. I should learn now. I should. I, I need to ask Mike because Mike knows him. So I think it's go Gautier. Gautier. Am I saying that right? Never know. I hate making a fool of myself. Um, anyway, so uh, yeah, I'm going to do a couple of versions of this because it's just such a killer tune and it's nice for beginners as well. I think we'll do Stop This Train. Um, I don't know where my... Where my thing, uh, get in there I just need to kind of tidy it up man it's like I can kind of play it but he's he does John Mayer is obviously an incredible guitar player like you know in the in the top that guitar players ever lived probably uh, and he's got a really really good percussive hit going on with the thumb that, that I can kind of I can kind of do it it's just not kind of not quite there um, so uh, yeah I, I will check that out as well. Um, gravity, but for the right hand rhythm stuff. Okay, I need to do. Uh, I need to do more. 
I, I haven't checked that. Gravity, I don't know at all, right? I haven't trans even started transcribing that one. So, I mean, I'm familiar with the tune. You know, I like John Mayer. I listen to his records. But, um, yeah, I don't know that one. Um, and, uh, yeah, that was the other one I wanted to do. Angela's. Because that's a beautiful song. Do you all know that? Elliot Smith? That's just... An, um, <laughs> you, would, you wouldn't believe the mess that I have. Oh, actually, can you say... How do I get rid of this screen here? Let press that. Does that make it go away? No. That was going to stop streaming. How do I make that go away? There's like this bit here where it's, it says normal, but I can't get the thing off the screen. Gah! Technology upsets me. There's no way of... You can flip it over and then you can see... Ah. Anyway, I can't... See, well, actually, I can probably see over here if you can see the junk. No, you can't. So I've got this pile over here, which is my transcriptions pile. And a thing of peanuts, which you should always have in your studio. Um, what's that? Stone cold. I'm just looking over, over here for these. So there's so many transcriptions that I've done that... The chain. See, I need to do the chain. Beating around the bush by ACDC. I've got all of these songs that I need to... That I've got to film. 500 miles by the Proclaimers because I've got this ridiculous hat somewhere. And I've been paid a stack of money to do a charity version of that so I'll put that over there because I need to definitely do that one. Um, what's that? Is that a blank piece of paper? What's that? Of lyrics to Mary Jane's Last Chance. That's not what I'm looking for. What I was hoping to find was um, Andrew, Supermarket Flowers. See, we've got all of these tunes here that I've transcribed. It's just too... Good God. What I need is some people to come and have a I need an assistant to come and check this out. The Tunnel of Love, Dire Straits. That's pretty much the whole soul, song of the solos, all transcribed already. Yeah, well, the end solo from six minutes onwards. And all of the chords. And most of the first solo. See? That stuff needs to get done. It's just been so busy in Justin Land. But that's that's going in the, in the must-do pile, as he's beating around the bush and the chain, because they're... Right? There's they're stuff that you guys would like. Am I right? Okay. What else have we got over here? Supermarket Flowers by Ed Sheeran. That's also a really beautiful tune that I should be doing. This is like, I've done all this transcribing, I got so busy that I haven't... Venice Queen. That's a beautiful song. That's a great riff. <laughs> I didn't do that straight away was because um, I needed to practice that intro riff and I never got around to it. As Tears Go By, The Rolling Stones, that would be another nice one. Intro solo to Gimme Shelter. Sympathy for the Devil, Mick Taylor solo. I mean, this is some good stuff here that I've already transcribed. There's three pages of that. Wow. I think I transcribed that live, actually. It's not the one I was looking for. Caroline by Status Quo that I was going to do. And whatever you want because I was going to do some tributes to the great Rick Puff, who um, who left us not that long ago. Very sad. Incredible musician. I love Status Quo. They were one of my favourite bands when I was growing up. And there's some... What's this one? Oh, it's an Aussie Classics. I Was Only 19 by Redgum. I've been meaning to do that for Anzac Day, and I keep on missing it. So I'm going to try and film it soon, so that way I kind of catch up with... Um, with it when it happens and run to paradise it's not but i still haven't found angelis which is i think oh carolina in my mind oh man i haven't played that for eight this one's it this one's even in a little folder thing when i started trying to i recently went through my folder of transcriptions and started trying to pull out things that i wanted to do <laughs> Bye. 
some lovely chords. got to do that tune as well so that's that one's actually a really tricky tune that's why I haven't done it is because there's little bits like and I don't remember until I get it out now and just try and play through it's like oh yeah that bit's a little bit tricky but I'm gonna do it I need to do that sorry sound keeps breaking up really sorry about the sound guys really sorry about the sound um, Windy and warm, so it's, oh, it's the same. I was thinking that's a popular song, but it's the same dude. Keep on pasting it over and over. So I just may as well do just do public sorting out of my stuff. What's that ear training stuff? That's that's old news. I can go in the. What I need to do is just scan all of this stuff. Here it is, Angeles. Do you all know that tune, Elliot Smith? It's a beautiful, beautiful song. It's such a such a great riff, and it's deathly hard. If you, if you, any of you are not familiar with Elliot Smith, you've done yourself a gr your ears a great disservice, and you want to go and check it out straight away because I can't remember what key it's in there. Um, a great tune it's great it's a real i love elliot smith's songs he's just such a pig to play he does really he does things that are really really difficult the song there's a few people asking about the um about the song it's called angeles um i think it's a song about los angeles by elliot smith i can't remember which album it's on actually it might be xo or it could be either or come on elliot smith fans help me out here which albums are off um, yeah, it's one of those classic ones for him that is just, uh, um, it's really difficult with the, with the way he plays, because the, the part itself, the, the first... doing this thing where he's like <clears throat> strumming with his first finger and 
playing the bass notes, strumming with his first finger, but still picking out some of the notes with the other fingers as well. It's very tricky, man. It's a, it's a, it's a lovely, um, lots of people saying either or. Thank you for that one. It's such a great, such a great tune. Love, love Elias Smith's music. Really inspiring. But anyway, so I want to do that in my first batch. I think I need to practice that up. So what are we thinking as a, as a little first batch, if I can film tomorrow? I need to practice this up and figure out how I'm going to teach that last part. Oh, and here we go. I'll just ask you bluntly. Song like Angelis, right? It's a pretty difficult one to sing, pretty difficult one to sing and play. But I always feel that having a vocal with the guitar playing is really helpful for people learning the tune. But when some, you know, my vocal is, to use a, 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 an Elliot Smith lyric, is uh, average at better. Well, it's not... That's what he says. What's that line that he says? Bad, uh, average at best? No, it's not bad at best. What's that line from that song? Anyway, it's a, so the debate is whether I bother singing or not because I, you know, it's a hard tune. It's Elliot Smith, which is always going to sound pretty rough from me anyway. But I'm fairly sure that it damaged bad at best. That's the line that I was looking for. What's that? Is it? For, it's not from this song, is it? It's from something else. I can't remember. Oh, is it from, um, oh, I can't remember, but well done you. Who, where, where was it? The depth. Farouk. That's the one. That was exactly the lyric I was thinking of. Well done you. Um, so, uh, damaged bad at best. Fantastic. So that's a good description of my vocal if I try and sing this one. But I think it's helpful. What do you think? Is it, is it, is it better for, um, Better for me to have a go at singing a tune like this, so that you kind of get how it's um, how it's working. Or do you think I should just play it without singing it? I mean, I'm not going to. There's no singing on the first part anyway. Yeah, I should sing it. Okay. Yeah, I don't really care if people think my singing. Or well, I don't care if I think or other people think my singing is a bit ropey because I'm not deaf. You know, I can tell that it's not great. You know. I think I try and. I try and avoid now doing the really bad ones. In the, in the old days, there was a few that were just like, oh, I watched the videos back. I'm like, I really should pull that video off because the vocal is so horrendous. But, you know, hey, it's just, it's history, isn't it? It happened. But this one's, yeah. The, the, the lyrical phrasing of this one's also a bit, there's some tricky. Um, someone's always fucking, oh, I feel embarrassed now. I just was sorry. <clears throat> Someone's always coming around me, trailing some to kill. Ah, get that chord right. Said I seen your picture on a hundred dollar bill. What's the game? Chance to use each one is one. What's that chord? That's hard. That's really hard to sing and play at the same time. I have done it better than that. I haven't practiced this song for months. So, um, yeah. Not just trying to make excuses. Someone's, someone's always coming around here, trailing some you kill. Says I've seen your picture on a hundred. a great song and because i get into it as well if i sing it i get really into the like way <clears throat> i'll sing out the chords in that one while i'm trying to i'm still struggling to even remember the song jesus that one would be a hard one but i think i want to do that what do you reckon angelis is definitely on that's that's going on the definite list Somebody that I used to know, I think, should go on the definite list as well, because it's really good for beginners. Angelis is, is, is a difficult tune. It's got lots of complicated finger style and stuff. But I mean, it's not difficult, you know, in the grand scheme of hard guitar playing, 
then it's probably not that difficult, but I find it difficult. So, and I kind of figure like if I find it difficult, then probably a lot of people that are learning my stuff, they're learning from my lessons would find it difficult as well. Um, I think the Gautier is going to be in. So what of these other ones do you reckon we should do? Because I called out a whole, we think stop this train. Oh yeah, stop this train, we said definitely. Where's that? That one hasn't showed up in the pile of stuff either. Stone cold. It's good, nice to see one of my, a tune that I co-wrote with this friend of mine, Samuel Jack, uh, called Stone Cold. Is getting loads of record play if you're in Holland at the moment listening to the radio. You've probably heard that tune. Um, it's one that I co-wrote with Sam, which is really, uh, I'm stoked about that it's doing so well over there. Um, if you're not familiar with it, go and check out uh, Samuel Jack, and the song is called Stone Cold. There's a few different versions of it around, I think, of him playing it live. Oh, there we go. Let's stop this train. <coughs> um, so you might want to go and check that out because it's, um, it's a really good, uh, really good tune. about this tune so many people getting it completely wrong and I don't mean it to be like oh I'm so clever but you know um I watched it you know I worked it out how I thought it was and then I started watching a few videos of him do it and then I checked out a couple of lessons of other other people had done just to see and nobody had it right but you can quite clearly see how he does it in on, on that live video and uh yeah it's just um it's quite he's got such a it's all this hand if, if you didn't realize the way he, that whole thing is this, the thumb hitting on the strings while he's preparing to play the next note. That's the... Yeah, come on. That's the, that's the trick to it, is getting that thumb going, playing the bass, and then hitting in. That's that's kind of the exercise. If any of you want to get some prep going on before this lesson, you just want to sit there doing this. Actually, this is when I was learning it. I must have spent I don't know 15, 20 minutes just doing that and working on trying to get that nice, get the note nice and get my thumb landing in just the right place. So now it's starting to get a bit wobbly, so I'm trying to talk about it. And then. rest is first finger. And you have to have a rubber thumb if you're going to play it the same as John. Which I'm not doing because he does it like a different chord there that I can't, I just can't reach. Which I was nearly not going to do the lesson because I couldn't do it right. But... another part there isn't there I need to uh, my transcription for this song is slightly less than complete I don't know if you guys could see that or not very clearly it's just like the scrappiest of scrappy transcriptions ever something on the back of it but it's not anything to do with that sure I've got so many transcriptions here this is just ridiculous oh no hang on I have done gravity Oh, and couldn't stand the weather. Oh, man. 
<laughs> now, now we're getting into some stuff. So gravity, it looks like I've done the, I've transcribed the solo, but not the chords. I didn't, didn't I do the, didn't I transcribe gravity as a live thing? I think I transcribed that live on one of these like YouTube things. So if you want to learn gravity, the solo, looks like it's most of the solo, but I'm not sure. There's two pages of it. Um, intro solo and the rhythm. Chords are pretty simple for gravity. So I'm going to put that in pile two. All right, pile one, so which is going to be Stop This Train, two videos of the Gautier song, Angelis and one more, which I'm not sure, probably something beginnery. Um, uh, thank you, uh, E. Vincent. Uh, couldn't stand the weather. Uh, Sure, that'd be that's even a bit longer. What are these other ones that I've mentioned here are ones that are you guys like? What's this? Details about the pickup system. I don't need that at all. I can go in the bin. What else would you guys like to see? So, what's this stream about? To Sir Moist, Moist, Sir Moist. Um, it started out whether I should do an easy or hard version of um, someone that I used to know. And then I morphed into what other songs should I do first now that I'm back in the land of the living and looking at songs to do. And that's, I think, Venice Queen. That would be a nice ad additional to the first one, wouldn't it? Venice Queen, Stop This Train, Angelis and the Gautier. I think that's a stellar lineup of songs to have a go at doing tomorrow. What do you reckon? I think that would be... I, th I think, well... What I think matters most, I guess, actually, because, um, yeah, I'm the one who have to spend all the time learning the damn thing and then watching myself, watching myself editing it. Oh, the Ed Sheeran. Well, I've done more than words. Mr. Big more than words. No, it's Extreme did more than words. Mr. Big did that. Um, I'm the one who wants to be with you, whatever it was called. Um, can you wish me luck for my maths GCSE tomorrow? I think I can do that, Cyrus. Good luck, Cyrus. I hope you kick ass in your GCSE tomorrow. And anyone else that happens to be doing their GCSEs, you shouldn't be watching this rambling live stream. You should be happy with your face in the books doing some study. I'm just kidding. Much more fun doing stuff like this, hey? Um, D with a C bass. that D chord with a C bass oh. The end, the rhythm guitar part at the end of Venice Queen.
Prashanti is so good. There's so much amazing guitar in the world. I just don't have time to learn it all. But we're getting there. We'll get there, we'll, won't we? Together we'll figure it all out. Every guitar, amazing bit of guitar playing in the universe. the tricky bit is that one is going to be jumping between those two <coughs> two sections but anyway you guys going to be happy with that as a, as a little um yeah sorry about the sound man I, don't, I really i'm disappointed that my video is um so choppy uppy because it's um especially you'd expect the video to be um yeah the video to be rough and the, the audio to be okay um, okay, I'm probably going to have to stop there because my daughter is due home any second and I want to go and play with her in the garden. I'm going to do some swings or run around and be silly. We've been working today since about 8.30 so, and it's now 10 to 6. So it's been a pretty long day. Got lots of stuff done. Those of you that have signed up for my music theory course uh, on the new site, uh, I just did all of the videos for grade 2 today and I'm going to do grade 3 tomorrow. Um, so there's lots of stuff, good stuff going on there over the on the website. Did uh, there's a links on Facebook and Twitter to a new lesson I just did as well on uh, how to fly with your guitar because uh, a lot of the people that are doing the workshops with me later than this year had asked that sort of question. So um, any last little questions that you want to ask other than uh, song requests because I'm kind of through the song requesty uh, bit now. Um, if you've got any questions, I've got a few. Probably like a minute or something before I have to go. Um, the music theory lessons will, some of them will come on YouTube when the when the main site goes live. Um, then I will put the first grades on YouTube, but the paid for e section. It's the first time I've got like a paid for section on one of my sites, but it used to be an ebook that I used to sell, but it's so much better to have a website rather than an ebook because I can add video and I can put in like back and tracks and PDF files and all that sort of stuff. So I just basically turned the eBooks into like a mega part of a theory website. So that's what's going on over there. Um, <clears throat> all the videos aren't done yet. I've only done the first two grades, but those the first two grades will probably eventually go out on YouTube. Um, <clears throat> will I be doing any print songs? I should. Print songs are difficult because they're mostly layery sort of stuff. Um, so that's why I haven't been doing much print stuff, but I should. Maybe we could do. do that and I should do purple rain um, but I haven't did I watch the royal wedding no do you teach violin no that's got to be the best question we've had space cookie I love that question do I teach violin afraid not uh, dude I'm going to be coming more often I hope so can I play bossa nova I can kind of play yeah I can do that very well. <clears throat> so I can kind of do a, a poor bossa nova, but, you know, a proper bossa master I am certainly not. Um, Toughen up your fingers by playing guitar. Any of that other stuff about dipping it in things is silly. Just play guitar more and they'll toughen up soon enough. How often will I be doing videos with the captain? 
Uh, we filmed six of them now and they cut, or no, or eight of them. I can't remember. We filmed a bunch and they come out every two weeks, alternating on my channel and his. So uh, one channel, one video on each channel each month. That's how it works. Uh, Jackson Brown. Jackson Brown. I should do some Jackson Brown. Um, have I ever buffed in Sydney? Uh, don't think so. No. Do you have any tips on arpeggios? That one you'd have to see the website for. Best gig was Neil Young on the Greendale tour. I love the Greendale album and when he played the whole Greendale album uh, in one go live, uh, the Hammersmith Polo. Um, absolutely spellbinding. Um, followed by probably ACDC at Wembley Arena. That was also a pretty amazing gig. Um, yeah. Anyway, bread, no. Have I bust in California? No. What's the longest you'll go without playing? I have gone a couple of weeks before when I've done like mountaineering trips or whatever. I've, I've not taken guitars, but sometimes I have them in the cabin. So I don't know, a couple of weeks for sure. I go sometimes, I try not to go that far, to go that long. Play perfect by Ed Sheeran, no time for that. I'm literally about to go. <clears throat> Opinions on the durability of truss rods? No, do I play other instruments? I can play harmonica a bit and I can play piano a bit. And that's, uh, <clears throat> that's about it. Um, no plans to come to India at the moment to do a workshop, but I would love to, love my time in India. Okay, I think that's about it. Where do I live? Where do I like to go mountaineering? All the mountaineering I've done has been in Switzerland, uh, uh, in the Jungfrau region, in the Saarsgrund region, um, the Bernese Overland. I've, been, I've done a few trips to Switzerland, I love it, but I haven't done any climbing since my daughter was born. Uh, so my crampons are probably all rusty now, but hopefully I'll get back to it at some point. Okay, look, this was actually a lot longer than I was anticipating, uh, and family is home. So, uh, thank you for tuning in. I uh, hope you, those of you that are, are registered are enjoying the new website. If you're not registered, you want to go and check out the newsletter page on my old website, and it's very likely that some point in the next couple of days you might get an email that'll invite you over to the new site. At the moment, it's still kind of invitey. Uh, there's a few sneaky links around for it, but not that many. So look, uh, thank you for joining me. I hope you're all doing splendidly, and uh, I'll hopefully be getting back to doing more of this stuff very soon. I'm planning on doing some from Italy as well when I'm there, I'm running some workshops there and I'm hoping to do a few live streams from over there as well. So um, take care of yourself. Bye bye.